full of people. As a promise, we have a, a very uh, small musical performance to honor the country who hosted so kindly today. Um, we will have a, um, a group which is a mix between uh, classical music and modern music, and uh, uh, I hope that this will be the, the, the right mix between tradition and innovation, what we wanted to produce today. How to conclude the day? Um, as you know, I love to, to finish uh, with uh, stories. Uh, it's, uh, I, I already discussed about this story uh, in an event of RICS, actually, in Milan uh, a few days ago, but I think it's a very nice story summarizing the day. Uh, what we have been discussing today about cover bonds on energy efficiency can be summarized in uh, building best practices. Market best practices can save us and can help us, actually, in uh, being different, because we are all different, we love different colors, but at the end of the day, the structure of our models are all the same. So let's, I mean, today we see people in the streets uh, asking for more nationalism and using the national flag, uh, which is a very interesting uh, movement in these days before the, the, uh, the European election. But let's try to divide the families of the flag. I don't know if you've never thought about this. I mean, we can divide the European flags in two big groups. Flag with tricolore, or the uh, tri tricolor, and the cross. And I don't know if you ever thought why countries have a cross and something have the tricolors, like the flag of uh, uh, Latvia. Well, I mean, in the 16th centuries, states were starting to, to take shape, and they decided to use a symbol which was uh, the, the symbol of the power of the country. Uh, um, well, King Richard, when he was going towards uh, Jerusalem, King Richard is Lionheart, the, the king of uh, uh, Robin Hood, if you don't know if you remember. He was amazed by the boat who brought the British army and the French army to Jerusalem. These boats were boats of Genova. Genova was controlling all the Mediterranean. And Genoa decided to put on their boat a fantastic innovation, which was the crossbow. I don't know if you know, it was, was a kind of gun. Uh, and the, every single boat of Genoa had 20 people equipped with this kind of special weapon, which was the most modern weapon of that time. Well, the Brits, at the time the English, were really amazed by the fact that no enemy boat try to approach the Genoan fleet because they were so strong, it was uh, enough to show the flag and all the other boats were just staying away from the Genoan fleet. So the king of England started to use and ask the navy that was about to be developed in England to use the Genoan flag. That was a very interesting concept and still now, I mean, Daniel, I don't know if you can go, well, the Royal Navy, very proudly, is still using the flag of Genoa. But the other flag, where, where they come from? I don't know why they are using three colors. What does it mean, these three colors? Well, the three colors started to be used in the Republic of the Seventh United Province of the Netherlands. When they kick out the king, they put the republic. A republic was based on three principles, which were called the natural rights, which was the freedom, right of uh, life, and the right of property. Every single flag using these three colors is recalling the natural rights of the human being. John Locke, a Brit, had this idea. Jean-Jacques Rousseau and Voltaire brought this idea in France, and the, the flag of the French Revolution is still representing these three colors. The Italian flag, for example, with the green, was the voluntary fighting for Napoleon who decided to stress even more this natural uh, thing by replacing the blue of the French flag with the green one. So what I'm saying, I'm simply saying that we are all the same and if we build the best practices, we can discover that actually nationalism is nothing else than a common story, Europe. You can decide to have a king, you can kick out the king as you want, having a cross. Uh, I would like to recall that also Denmark, also, uh, I mean, Norway, also Sweden, they recall the flag of Genoa. So we use, use, by using the same best practices, we can build something new, 
and we can respect our national character, our local capacity, our tradition, but at the same time belonging to the same community and building something new, Europe. What we are trying to do today, and with this I would like to give the floor to the band and, uh, and uh, to thank you all for coming from all over the world. The sponsor who have actually allowed the ECBC to support us. Thank you very much to all the sponsors. It was really a pleasure to, to have uh, your support and to have here. And also the Minister of Finance of uh, uh, Latvia and Euromoney for their kind support today. Thank you all. Now we will have the music in a few minutes. Uh, thank you.